Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aquarius, for the first half of September 2023. Let's get right into it. If you like this reading, Aquarius, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and your time and for stopping by. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Aquarius. Anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on an Aquarius, all are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. But a moon oracle card. Adjustments are required. The third quarter moon. Hmm. What kind of adjustments are required here, spirit? Let's see. Take time to breathe out. Oh, take that minute, Aquarius. Take that minute and breathe it out because it seems really dark. Even a little uh, scary to me. I don't know why. I don't know if you're going through something or if you're feeling fear about something. We're going to get to the bottom of it. But take the time to breathe it out. What else? Ooh, emotions are running high. Aquarius, what is going on? What is going on? Let's see. Let's see. Animal spirit guide for up in the ether for the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Oh my goodness, this is about your confidence. Look how nervous you are. There's that fear popping up. There's something you're a little bit fearful of. Dragonfly, transformation, trying to find the light. Bird of St. Anthony coming through, but look at this hyena. Wow, it's just you're on guard. You're just easily, easily uh, triggered right now. It has to do with your confidence, maybe your pride. Let's see what this is all about. What is going on with Aquarius? What's going on? And the shark, <laughs> you're ready to go. You are ready to go. You're just uh, on the verge of something. Look at this beautiful Phoenix. Aquarius, you gotta hang on. You gotta hang on. Some kind of huge transformation, rising up from the ashes, rising up from the fear, and really being that much stronger. This is beautiful. I'm gonna leave that peacock. Oh my God, and then the black egg. This is huge, this is really huge. Some kind of unrealized potential breaking through here. Something in you that you didn't even know you had. So maybe words come out that you didn't even realize were pent up in there. What kind of Zen tarot card is up in the ether for the sign of Aquarius? Spirit, tell me about Aquarius. Source, wow. And harmony, oh yeah, this dark period is leading you to a much brighter feel here, a much more harmonious feel here. Also, your heart chakra and your third eye chakra, really, really wide open, wide open. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it took some emotion to get there. It took some, some wobbliness to get there. You've been kind of trying to find your way, trying to feel your way. But look what you're heading toward. Look at this beautiful, beautiful phoenix, the source of it all, the root of it all. You're rising up here. Oh, wow, an existence on the bottom of the deck. Oh, Aquarius, you're standing in something here. You're standing in your own light here, really speaking up for yourself. I'm thinking you're saying these things and you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> you're channeling, you're channeling directly right now. This is beautiful. It's so beautiful because you're feeling really, really lost, really dark. You don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. And then something brilliant appears, something you can't ignore. What are you thinking about? Tell me what Aquarius is thinking about right now. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Trying to look at your finances, trying to gain some traction here with your finances, get a grip here. So things are feeling a little more comfortable now. Maybe you're coming from a really, really tight time where you had to budget everything, look at every number here, but you're coming into a much more comfortable time. You're finding your voice. There's something about your voice here, speaking your mind here, standing up for what you want here. What led up to this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy for Aquarius? What led up to this? Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Hmm. Challenges, competition here, but some kind of coming together. There's some kind of uh, coming together and talking about things, maybe with a group of people or at the workplace, but smoothing something out here where your voice is heard. It's been a little while. Something kind of uh, held you back. Every time you went to speak, it was just like, not now, not yet, not yet. But now you're being kind of prompted to speak out. 
beautiful, beautiful. Are there any challenges in the mind space? What's the resistance? What's the resistance from speaking out? Eight of Cups, do I say it or do I just walk away and look for something else? Even though your fire is still here, your passion is still here, you're tempted to walk away. You're tempted to walk away. It's just been too challenging, too hard, too dark. You didn't know what to do and now you're just thinking about walking away. Letting it go, letting it go. Look at that fire still kind of brewing over there. There's still some kind of passion, still some kind of uh, yearning to stay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Future thought, future thought for Aquarius. Future thought, what's the future thought for Aquarius? Future thought. Future thought for Aquarius. Ooh, Page of Wands, you are looking for some kind of new route, new path. Judgment and the Ace of Cups. Look at this beautiful energy, Aquarius. Wow. You're looking in another direction, looking at what else is out there, wondering if you should go for it or if you should speak your mind and get what you want here. So you're in a little bit of a dilemma. Your heart, your, your mind is really desiring something bigger, something grander here. Judgment says what was dead is now awakened. So there's some kind of new passion brewing up within you. It's got your attention. It's got your attention. You just want to kind of sing a different tune. You want to step out of your role or step out of your lane here. You have all the tools to do so, but it's really scary. It's scary to leave the known behind, what's familiar to you, what's comfortable to you. But you got to go for your heart's desire here. You have no choice. Spirit is calling you at this point to go for your desires. Mm, you're really thinking about it. <laughs> really thinking about it because this is too uncomfortable. This is way too uncomfortable. You, you don't have the space to speak. You don't have the room to grow. You're just kind of confined. You're in this box that someone has put you in or a workplace has put you in and you're just trying to burst through. You're just trying to come out of that shell and be seen. Be seen. Or you walk away. It, it wouldn't be that difficult for you to walk away, Aquarius. It would not. There's so much uh, more to grow from, to learn from, to do here. So don't confine yourself to familiarity or comfort just because that it, it's been a while since you've been comfortable. So yeah, who, who wants to leave that cozy little nest there? But there's some kind of unstruck note within your heart here, some kind of unstruck sound that your heart is yearning for, wants to hear, wants to see what we can do pushing you, pushing you to do something different. Look at this, the sun on the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. Something glorious coming for you, something that eases your mind. Ooh, and the two of cups, a partnership of some kind. Four of pentacles, you've been waiting, been waiting, waiting, waiting for some kind of sign. <laughs> Spirit, give me a sign, give me a sign, and there's all these signs. This way, Aquarius, this way, Aquarius, and you're still sitting here in the comfort going, Spirit, give me a sign. <laughs> <laughs> we all do that. We all do that. Look for the signs, though, Aquarius. You've got to look for the signs. They're everywhere. They're everywhere trying to point you this way. <laughs> Love that. What's in your heart? What is Aquarius feeling right now? What is Aquarius feeling right now? Ooh, you want to give your love away. You want to share with someone. You want to have this partner. You want to have... Uh, comfort with uh, exhilaration and eagerness and excitement. You don't want to just have comfortable in the same lane, go in the same uh, speed and never seeing anything different. The signs are whizzing by you, Aquarius. For some reason, you're so focused on a future. You're so focused on the destination. Spirit is saying, back it up, back it up. Just sit here for a minute. Take a deep breath and, and soak it in. Soak in your now moment. Soak in your surroundings right now. Beautiful beautiful because everything changes and you want to declare your passion for something here. I'm going to sing it out loud. What led up to this? What led up to the Knight of Cups? What led up to the Knight of Cups for Aquarius? Oh my God. Soulmate energy. The Six of Cups. Wow. 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 You just want to go all in. You want to take the uh, the blinders off. You want to take the caution uh, tape off <laughs> around your heart and you want to let someone in. 
You really want to let someone in, but you're just really fearful of that. You're really fearful. Looking at the risk reward ratio here, but this is soulmate energy. Something's come in to, to open up your heart, to really burst it open here. And a lot of times, most times, that comes through fear. It comes from holding on to our emotions, holding on to our feelings, holding on to our voice. It's not until we use our voice, it's not until we go all in, it's not until we trust in love that we can we can just find that voice, find that that feeling here. Aquarius, this is glorious. This is glorious. Ace of Pentacles coming into the heart space here. Financially, you've done it. You've achieved something. You have uh, really managed your money well. You're a great, great money manager, like a financial planner. Really knowing how to take a dollar and turn it into a hundred. You're, you're really good at this. Really good at making money grow. What you haven't been so good at is the connection to the heart with someone. The going all in. The trusting someone beside yourself. You've, been, you've had to count on yourself for quite some time here. So now Spirit is asking you to go all in with someone. To trust again. To trust again. You've got all the resources you need to trust again. Look at this on the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, the tower, the tower. God, you're going to walk away from something that's a little bit toxic, a little bit restricting. Uh, your voice can't be heard. There's too many voices around you washing you out. So you're moving into this situation where you are the sole voice, where you can speak your mind freely without the fear, without the fear of, of others telling you uh, a different way, maybe a different path, maybe. Maybe some other options have been put up in front of you. Wow. Wow. What's the future emotion for Aquarius? Future emotion for Aquarius. Tell me about the future. Future heart space, future heart space spirit. The hermit. <laughs> kind of has to be, right? Because you're coming from some chaos. You're coming from some confusion here. Some cloudiness, from cloudiness to clarity. All of a sudden you can hear it. All of a sudden you can see it. Something opens up here. While you're meditating, while you're going quiet, while you're going peaceful here, it's a break. It's a getaway. Could be just 10 minutes in the car, breathing it in and out, Aquarius. But this beautiful, beautiful knowing of who you are. This is you stepping into your true, authentic voice here. Using your true, authentic voice here. Beautiful, but you got to go deep first. You got to go silent first. You got to go quiet first to find that voice, to hit that unstruck note. <laughs> Excuse me in there. This is glorious because when you do, when you speak your mind, it's just like, oh God, it's just the angels can hear it. They're there with you. It's like many voices in one. Many, many supporters are with you. Spirit is with you when you need to find your voice. There's a moment coming up here, Aquarius. A moment where you have to make a decision. It's decide, do you stay or do you go? Do you continue with the familiar and the comfortable? Or do you take a chance? Do you take a chance? It's like, oh, do I, do I want to step out? Do I want to step out of this nest? You find that through meditation. You find that answer through meditation. I can see that the answer is yes, because your heart is really yearning for something new, for something brand new, a new investment, a new uh, investment in someone. It's beautiful. Spirit, what's your advice in the heart space for Aquarius? What's your advice in the heart space? Queen of Cups. Wow. Wow. Are you ready? You're ready to give of yourself here. A little bit of fear of rejection here. A little bit of fear of loss here. What am I giving up here? You're, you're knowing what you're giving up. You, you're kind of fearful of that. I don't know. I don't know if I want to give that up. But I do know that I'm being pushed sort of towards something different here. I'm being pushed into a brand new uh, me. Got to go quiet. Got to go quiet to hear my own uh, tune, hear my own song. This is beautiful, Aquarius. This is glorious. This is glorious. This is a rising up. A rising up to see the bigger picture, to, to see the transformation. You are the observer right now. Absolutely the observer here. You're just kind of monitoring things. You're such a good analyst. You're a very good analyst. You analyze everything. It's so beautiful. 
<laughs> so beautiful. You are not one to just blurt something out. You practice, you rehearse. Even if you don't realize you are, you are. You're always practicing what's the best road here? What's the best voice here? What's the best idea here? Analyzing it all. What's in the foundation? What is this all about? What is this all about? The Empress. This is about getting your power back and birthing a new idea. It's been stale. It's been stale. I'll give you that it's been comfortable. It's been um, healing and soothing and you absolutely needed that quiet time. You needed that dark room to really process some things that had gone on in the past. You had some rattling going on, some shake, rattle, and roll happening for a while there. Not There was no unsteady ground and I think that's why we saw the tower here. It just felt like quicksand. It felt like you could not get your balance. When you did, something else would fall away. And you'd have to catch your breath again, catch your balance again. Now you're just coming into a situation here. You're coming in, you're being asked a question here. Do you stay or do you go? And that's the answer that's coming in September. That's the Eureka. Eureka, it comes to you. It comes to you out of the blue. That answer comes to you, but you're ready to fulfill your heart's desire. Now you're ready to get your dreams here. You're ready to get going in something. The Empress says this, you're ready. You're fertile. You're uh, ready to receive. God, are you ready to receive love and connection and uh, happiness? I'm just feeling so much happiness. Wow, I love this. I love this. What led up to the Empress? What led up to the Empress spirit? The chariot. My God, look at this major arcana. Wow. But you see what I mean about the crossroads. You don't know yet. You don't know. You don't know which path will take you where, but you're willing to take a chance again. You're ready to take a chance again. The chariot says it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to walk away from what is not serving you. You've got seven cold cups here. The, there's one that's still got some heat and fire in it, but your seven cups have gone cold. It's time to go for the nine of cups now. It's time to go for your heart's fulfillment. That wish come true now. You've got to go. Aquarius, it's time to go. Spirit is calling you. The wake up call is here. It's time to go. It's time to go. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's time to leave the stress and the darkness and the, and the unknown behind. It just breeds fear. The unknown breeds fear. You've got to focus on the known. You're very, very good at analyzing situations. You're very good at analyzing people. But it's time to analyze you. What do I want? Where are my dreams taking me? And the Eureka comes. The yes, the yes comes. It takes you out of the crossroads. You're moving out of the crossroads here. What is the challenge in the situation for Aquarius? What's the challenge in the situation? Four of Wands, look at this. It's kind of a challenge to relax. It's a challenge to let go because you've had such a tight grip. You've had, you've had to, you've had to main, maintain control over your emotions. You had no choice. So you, you held on to them. You held this very, very tight grip on your emotions, on your voice, on your ideas, your opinions, and something has broken free. It's just like this blockage has been removed. This wall has been removed. Love this. <laughs> Love this. Where are you going? Where are you going? I cannot wait to see. Future situation, future situation for Aquarius. Yes, once you find your voice, Aquarius, you are out of there. The high priestess. You can see it. You have become the observer, the witness to your own life here. You are beautifully, beautifully analyzing, going back in time, seeing where you're coming from to know where you're going. But you're going, you're moving out of a very, very harsh energy time. Very harsh, pushing you to the light, pushing you to the transformation, pushing you to God, pushing you to spirit. Beautiful, beautiful, an opening up of your heart and a trusting, that trust fall again. 
God, I love this. I love this. It's like you're so amazed at where you've come from. It's you just amazed that you even got through something. It's just, wow, I survived something. I did it. I did it. And now I can see the light. I can see the the glorious, glorious night sky with those stars just falling around me. It's, it's just signs everywhere. So much serendipity here, Aquarius. God, do I love this. I love this. Knight of Wands, you're finding your fire again, your passion again, your magic again with the High Priestess. It's like a rerouting, a reconfiguring because you're always analyzing. So <clears throat> you've kind of analyzed your way right into another path here right into a different way from a way that was making you feel very nervous very jittery i don't know if i got this i don't know if i can find the path out of this darkness something called something had had aquarius turn in their head going wait a minute what is that i didn't see that i didn't see that coming maybe it's a relationship there's a lot of cups here so it could absolutely be a relationship Cancer energy, very, very strong coming into the mix, urging you to come a certain way, urging you to move, move, change directions here, change directions. Wow, wow. You are not easily moved. You are not easily swayed to turn around, to make that U-turn. But love, love and connection and honoring and... Uh, soulmate energy has had has you turning your head as you saying wait a minute wait a minute maybe i want to go that way <laughs> all these new opportunities open up as soon as you let go of the dark time as soon as you let go of what has happened here in the past this is beautiful king of swords there you are there you are making the plan deciding where you're going to go, deciding what you're going to do. You're not going to do this without writing down the pros and cons, without analyzing it. But this analyzation is pushing you toward this massive rebirth, massive transformation here, out of the dark, out of the confusion, out of the harshness, out of the competition, into your own magic here, your own road here, your own way here, where you're revealing how you feel. And your voice, your throat chakra, really, really opening up. Do some meditations, breathing meditations, and concentrate on that throat chakra opening up just open it up open it up with your heart your third eye and it's just a massive opening maybe it's under the light of the uh the blue moon the blue moon changes everything something is massively changing here but let's see what that is i want to see what that is why is aquarius sitting in the queen of pentacles in the mind space right now what's that all about why is aquarius the queen of pentacles seven of wands Look at this, you taking a chance, you skipping along the post here, avoiding the treachery, avoiding the pitfalls. You know the way, you know the route now, you know the way around the competition now. God, this is beautiful. You're standing up for yourself, standing in your true authentic light here. This is glorious. This is a coming back to you. And what's important to you? What are you walking away from? What's this fire you're leaving? What's this passion that you're leaving, Aquarius? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? Why? The Chariot. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Aquarius, you've got the Chariot twice. <laughs> and leaving us all in the dust. <laughs> You are racing off, racing off. It's like you don't care about that cup. You don't care at all. Here, I was thinking you didn't want to leave it. You didn't want to let go of the familiar and you're just like, woo-hoo. <laughs> Aquarius, out. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Why is judgment here and the Ace of Cups is heart fulfillment for Aquarius? What's that all about? judgment again wow look at this door opening up for you look at the unknown the possibilities this new portal opening up for you Aquarius you're just diving in you're just going for it all doubt and fear have been removed from you it's just like I'm gonna go see what's over there I'm just going head first I'm not even gonna test the waters I'm just going <laughs> 
<laughs> I love this. I love this. Well, I have got to see what all this heart energy is about. Why is the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups here? Who is Aquarius and the Queen of Cups? Who is Aquarius giving their heart to really opening up, telling someone exactly how they feel without the fear, without the fear of rejection, the fear of the unknown here, just going for it. So I've got to see what that's about. What prompts this? Three of Pentacles. God, you're such a great, great analyzer. Like I said, you've analyzed this. You've gone over it. You've crunched the numbers. You have studied. You have learned. You've grown. You've expanded here, Aquarius. And it was brick by brick, step by step, moment by moment. Wow. Wow. It just grew this. It, it just built this very strong foundation that and no one can knock down. And I'm, I'm picturing the three little pigs with those different houses, the house made of sand, the house made of wood, and the house made of brick. And you've, mil you've really milled the brick, you've made the brick, you've built the brick, you've built the house of comfort here. And so it doesn't matter where you go, you have this happy place, you have this sanctuary within you that no one can break down, not again, not again. Your house is built on a very, very strong foundation. And when I'm saying house, I'm saying spirit. I'm saying your heart. I'm saying your soul here is built now on a very, very strong foundation that you, you built from your blood, your sweat, your tears, your sorrow, your grief, your uh, feelings of rejections, abandonment, betrayal, Every single one of those emotions built this house here that cannot be taken down. It's spiritual. It's godlike. It's the house of God for Aquarius. It's your house of God here that no one can uh, cross unless you allow it. Unless you allow, you cannot cross this threshold unless Aquarius gives the approval. It's like, what's the password? <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> nope. That's not it. <laughs> what is this heart's desire, this eureka, this I did it, I did it. What is this all about? I'm loving this moment for you. There's a moment coming up where you're just like, yes, <laughs> victory. Page of Swords. Mm, message, a message coming in. Maybe you win something or there's just some kind of good news coming to you. This is absolutely good news coming to you with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles here, Aquarius. Oh my God, and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Remember earlier you were walking away from those Eight of Cups because seven of them had gone cold searching for your Nine of Cups and there it is. It's peace, it's serenity, it's uh, meditation. Meditation and connection, connection, such beautiful connection. Well, where's the sanctuary? Where did Aquarius go or where is Aquarius going to find this peace? You're going somewhere. There's like a deliberate planning of a trip somewhere, a retreat, a getaway, uh, 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 even if it's a staycation, you're taking care of you, you're nurturing you. So I want to see where that's at. Tell me about that. Tell me about the hermit here for Aquarius. Tell me about the hermit. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. It's like spirit won't say. <laughs> it's a surprise and I can't tell you spirit is saying because you're not easily surprised. You're not easily um, because you're the analyzer, because you've got all these scenarios worked out, all these future scenarios worked out in your mind. You're not easily surprised, but there's a big, big surprise coming for you. Surprise. As soon as you get on that chariot, as soon as you start heading out of something, it's like, here I go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Bam, here comes this big, big surprise for you. It's just right around the corner. It's right here, right here. But you got to get out of something here. You got to get out of a mood, an attitude, a place, a uh, situation here for this to come in because that's kind of the ride out, the chariot ride out. But when you do, when you do, when you let go of something, when you move into your light, move into your power here, when you just let it all burn down so that you can rise up from those ashes, I feel like you're still holding on to things, trying to fit it back together with spit and duct tape here. I got this, MacGyvering it, trying to fix things because that's what you are, is this beautiful, beautiful fixer. 
and uh, you got to let it all burn out down to rise up from those ashes. It's just not working. It's not working any longer. You don't have your heart in it any longer. You don't have the passion you had for it any longer. So you're letting that go. Letting it go for a brand new adventure. Oh my God, I didn't even notice the tower on the bottom of the deck. Something huge coming for you. It takes it all down for you so that you can stop trying to fix it. You've just been in this fixing mentality for years, probably. When there's a hole, you're there to plug it up, Aquarius. You're there to, to fix it, to make everyone feel better. And now you're just stuck in this role, this role of the fixer here. You're moving out. It's time for you to take, uh, to fix you, to, to take what you have learned here, to take what you have grown through here and just dive through that door. It's all ashes anyway. Let it burn. Let it go. A spirit's got it. Trust spirit more over here with these people that still need your help, that still need your assistance here. Spirit is here for all of us. So you don't have to be the fix it person anymore here in, in the relationships around you. Now it's equal opportunity. Now it's equal give and take. The uh, the uh, rejuvenation is here for you. The energy is here for you. You've been depleted. You've been depleted trying to fix something over here. Trying to fix it. Trying to manage it the way you do. And now you're just surrendering it. Just surrender it. Let it go. Throw your hands up. I, I did the best I could. I did the best I could. And you did. You did. You did absolutely the best you could with the resources you had available at the time, Aquarius, it's time to walk away and know that you did all you could. Just know it with your mind, body, and soul. I did all I could, but I've got to go. I've got to go for my happiness now. I've got to go for my dreams now. You've done such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. It's time to go for you now. It's time to go for your dreams, your desires here. How beautiful. Let's see what those dreams and desires are. I want to look at the Empress and the Chariot before we go. Spirit, let's look at the Empress and the Chariot. Where is Aquarius going? King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Look at you grabbing life by the horns now. Now you've got it. Now you've eased up your grip on the control here and you're allowing life to just take you. Take me where you want me to go, life, spirit, angels, God. I leave it up to you. I put it in your hands. Take me where I need to be. Where can I be of service? Where can I find excitement and exhilaration and my own happiness? Where does that where does that go? Where does that look like? Beautiful, beautiful. And celebration coming to you. What's the celebration? Why is Aquarius celebrating here? Look at all these beautiful cards. King of Wands. you got the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Really, really going into your desires, your dreams, your passions now. Nothing is going to stop you. Nothing is going to stop you now. It tried. Something tried here. Something tried to keep you behind. Tried to say, Aquarius, I need you. I need you. And you're just moving on. You're like, you know what? I leave it up to God. I leave it up to Spirit here. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. And you're just moving forward. You cannot stay behind. It doesn't work. Six of Wands. You're getting out of the troubled waters. With Spirit's guidance here, come this way, come this way. There are signs everywhere. <laughs> Look for the signs, Aquarius. This way, this way. It's going to be a big blinking neon sign. Aquarius, this way. Eight of Wands, you really are moving away from something very, very quickly. Just something had your head turn in and caught your eye and you're really moving out of a situation, really letting the ashes. It's like you've been sitting on that front porch with the house just burned down behind you for too long. You've been sitting and studying what happened, where did I go wrong? Now you're standing up, you're brushing yourself off and you are rising up. You are using those ashes, that power of that force behind you to really elevate into this new cycle, this new day. Three of cups, there is celebration coming for you. There is happiness coming for you. You've just got to let go of this dark past. Let go of the treacherous trail that got you here and move toward the sun. Move toward the light. Don't even look back. No looking back, Aquarius. Moving forward into the light now. I don't care what happened to get me here. I don't care what pushed me here. I've got to go. I've got to go for my dreams. I've got to go for my goals. Oh, Aquarius, Aquarius. Oh, spirit is behind you, pushing you into your light. I am here telling you, you can do this. You can do this. 
Oh, Aquarius, I love this. I love this. You've got to leave me a comment. Let me know what this is all about and where are you going? What is the plan here? Because it's glorious, absolutely glorious. Whew. All right, Aquarius, buckle up. You're going for a hell of a ride. <laughs> And I love it. I'm going to be in that sidecar. I'm going to be in that sidecar just experiencing this with you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I love it. God, tell me, send me a postcard. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, I hope you like this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Again, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you and your time. And... Um, all of your beautiful, beautiful comments. I'm just, I, I read every single one. I try to answer every single one and I'm just so grateful to you. So I hope you have a fantastical first half of the month of September, 2023 Aquarius. I am sending you so much light and love and I will definitely tune in with you soon. <laughs>